Hello, this is Mike Lively, and welcome to PHP Programming, video 68. And today we're actually going to start building Facebook applications using Flash Builder. Now, you may be asking, hey, where's the PHP? And rightfully so, kind of like, where's the beef? Where's the PHP? Well, for the first maybe 50 or so videos of these four lessons, we actually did nothing but PHP with a little bit of Flash Builder sprinkled in here. But as soon as we got to the fifth lesson, it was all Flash Builder at the beginning. And the reason being is that PHP can be used to do two primary things. One, to talk to a server and a web page, and the other is to build web pages itself. And so we've opted out of the web page building uh, business because when PHP uh, web pages are built, they become, in a sense, very rigid, very difficult to change. It really takes an expert to go in there and move things around. So we're going to say that that is not a fluid approach. So let's use PHP what it's designed for and that's to talk to a server and let's create a fluid interface built with Flash Builder that we can change very rapidly that talks to PHP and that's the whole process here now when building a Facebook application uh, Adobe Flash has really done a tremendous thing they actually created an entire Google code site for us we have a, a wonderful package that we can use to actually talk to Facebook so that's just amazing now let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick so we're actually on uh, the Facebook ActionScript API, and you get to there going to code.google.com forward slash p forward slash Facebook dash ActionScript dash API. And I just think this is wonderful. Now, there's two ways you can run this. You can download the SWIC and put that into your library, and I suggest that you do that when you go into production. But for development purposes, I love to work with the code. So what I suggest that you do is actually go to this source tab right here, and go ahead and copy this uh, URL right here. This is basically going to give you the SVN download. Now, if you've never used an SVN, then you actually want to use Tortoise if you're on Windows. So go ahead and go to Google, type in Tortoise uh, SVN, and you should get the following link. And so you can find Tortoise at uh, tortoisesvn.tigress.org. And this also is a very wonderful package. Once you download this, just install it. Click through it. It's very easy to do. Uh, you'll be able to download anything from an SVN. Uh, and uh, be able to work with that newest made code. And so what you actually want to do once you've downloaded Tortoise is just automatically kind of integrate with your Windows system. So you can go to any folder, for example, I got something called Slides CS4, and right click on that and go to uh, SVN Checkout, for example, and just paste in the uh, trunk, the code that you got from uh, Google Code. And if you do that, you can actually uh, surf to that and download all those files. And I've already done that. I actually called this particular uh, folder SBS for Flash Builder SDK and if you click on that you get all this wonderful stuff and you get docs, examples, and source and what you want to do is open up that source folder go to action script and copy the com folder and inside that com folder is tons of wonderful stuff and your Facebook API is right there in that great and look at all the code that Adobe has not only given us but it gives us the ability to look at and write similar codes ourselves. isn't that fantastic I just so excited I can't stop being excited about uh, all the code that's being generated here. You know, when you did Flash in the old days, you never knew what was going on under the hood. But with Adobe and Flash Builder, it's all there. And it gives you the ability as a developer to create similar code, you know, high-grade code, uh, just by uh, looking at examples and how Adobe has created their code. Once you've downloaded that uh, API and you've got the COM folder, you want to go and create a uh, Flash Builder shell and throw that into it. Let's do that right now. So I'm in Flash Builder right now. I'm going to create my uh, first Facebook application, kind of Facebook Hello. I already got one there, but let's start from scratch. We'll go to New, and we'll hit Flex, and let's just go to, uh, we'll call it my, my Facebook Hello. And then that generates all the code that you need for My Facebook Hello. And what I want to do in the SRC folder is paste that COM folder. Let's go ahead and do that uh, Control V. So once you've pasted that into your uh, new Flash shell, you want to go ahead and look at the COM folder itself and see what's in there. And you can see Adobe's got a few folders in there, and in the Facebook folder there's a number of things in there that's going to help you build applications in Facebook and Flash Builder. Uh, just one thing you might be asking is, how did I know to grab the COM folder? Because if I go to my download folder over here on the desktop, just a side here, so if I click on the Facebook folder, you can see there's a bunch of folders in there, Docs folder, Example folder. I know it should be in Source, but I click on Source, go to Action Script, go to COM. How did I know which folder to actually click on? Well, what I did is I actually uh, went to the one of the actual files in one of these folders. So I look at Facebook, for example, go to Data, go to Groups, and any file, and click on Get group data. And what I want to do is just scroll to the package and take a look at the package identifier and you can see it actually starts with com. 
then Facebook data group. So I know that the com package has to be the package that is the first package I need to grab. So I knew from that, just by looking at that, not from documentation, just by looking at that, that the uh, folder I needed to paste into my SRC folder was the com folder from the uh, Adobe API. So that's how I got started with that. So if you had that question, I mean, it's a question you're going to ask whenever you look at a new package that it gives off SVN, you're going to ask, well, which folder that I paste into Adobe Flash Builder is going to be the folder where the package name begins. So just a little heads up there. So let's go back. So one of the great, great resources that Adobe has provided on its website is www.adobe.com devnet slash Facebook, and you really want to go to that because it has tons of basically simple tutorials, some video tutorials, uh, lots of source code, uh, different Facebook applications, and lots of explanation of how Facebook works with Flash Builder. Now what we're going to need to do to build a Facebook Flash Builder application, of course, is to sign up, get a Facebook account. And then when you uh, log on to that account, you want to go to the developer site. We're actually going to do that. Then you want to register a new application. You want to create a Flex application in Flash Builder, which we've done. And then you're going to throw that uh, code into that, which we actually just did. And then you want to add the Flashbook uh, login functionality in this particular case. And then retrieve and display the Facebook logged in user information. We're going to, that's what we're going to actually do in this application that we build. So we've actually created our our Flash Builder shell and so the next thing is to go ahead and open up Facebook. Now if you haven't gotten a Facebook account yet you can go ahead and just sign up for free right here no problem and uh, I do so I'm going to go ahead and log in and when you log in it's going to take me to my Facebook account and there's my beautiful daughter Mary who's actually sent me a wonderful message isn't that great what color best describes you just makes me feel so happy to be in touch with friends and family and Facebook and what we're going to do right here is actually create a uh, application it's, it's so simple to do but I want to go to the right link that link is www.facebook.com slash developers now that I'm logged in though when I go to that link it'll give me my applications and I can start programming from there so let's go ahead and paste that link into the bar and go to it and let's surf to that so I'm logged into Facebook so it knows that this is my uh, developers page and it's showing some of the applications that I have here and I've actually created a hello world application if I click on that then everything about that application will come up as as far as its application key and its secret key. So I want to create a new application. In order to do that on Facebook, all you do is click Set Up New Application. And when you do, just give it an application name. We'll go My Facebook Hello World. And go ahead and agree to the terms. And you might want to read those as well. And hit Create Application. Now I got a validation error. And what Facebook does not like is when I use a Facebook name in my application. So I need to change that name. So let's change it to something else. We'll call it My Hello World and hit create application. And now Facebook was happy with that. And it actually gives me an application key and a secret key. So I need those in my Flash Builder application to actually run the program. Now there's a number of tabs I'm going to go through here. Authentication, Profiles, Canvas, Connect, Widgets, Advanced, and Migration. I'm not going to explain to you what all those mean. I'll just go through the important things that you need. So I'm in the basic panel. I can switch between these different panels and actually change the profile, connect options, widget options, advanced options. And I'm going to show you a few here, not all of them. Of course, most important is getting that API key and that secret key in order to run the application. I'll show you how to do it in Flash Builder. But the other thing, let's look at the canvas. Here's a very important option. I have the choice between what's called an iframe and a face builder markup language. I'm going to be building all this in Flash Builder. So I actually want to bring this actually from my website into Flash Builder. I don't want to build inside of Facebook. So what Facebook markup language would actually allow me to do is kind of build a similar page and have that exist inside of Facebook. Not going to do that. Going to use a Flash Builder. Going to use iFrame. Just a real quick uh, explanation of that. Then in advance, there's a very important tab here as well. I don't want this to be a desktop application. I want it to be a web application to make sure that's marked. And there's a ton of other items you can go through. Not going to go through all those. Just make sure you get those two important ones marked. Once that's done, we'll go back to basic. We're finished and we can save changes. And when it's done, it gives back my application name, my hello world. It gives me my key, which I'm going to need for uh, programming. And of course, my support email and shows me what kind of frame I've done and, and that it's a website. So the important stuff is there. You're going to see the monthly active users, people who like this, and total users. Get a little bit of stats here on the application that you build. Now, I have a number of other applications here I can go through and change. Now, once you create your application, you can always go back and edit it. Let me show you how to do that before we move on. So if I go to home, I'm back again. And there's yet been another message from another person about uh, 
who wants to tell me about what they've done. Isn't that great? And I can go to account. Let's go to application settings. And I can click on developer right there. At this point, I might decide I didn't like something. I want to actually change something. Maybe my contact email, maybe my support email. I've got someone to do support for me. So I can just go ahead here and hit edit settings. And that takes me right back to my profile page. And I can change all that. Isn't that great? And so you're not stuck once you've created an application, you go back and change your parameters. So what did we cover today? Basically today we explained why we're using a Flash Builder as opposed to PHP to build our framework. And then we took you to Google Coding and got the SVN code that will allow our Flash Builder program to talk to Facebook. And then we actually went to Facebook itself, uh, the www.facebook.com, and created our first application. And next time we're going to build that out. Thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively. Let's go for it.